Hello everyone, we will continue that topic ALV by object oriented programming or object oriented concepts. And firstly, we created the ALV. After that, because we created the ALV, we created the container onto our own screen. And in that container, we are displaying the ALV. So whatever the functions are there, they will not work automatically. So you need to write the logic for the same. So firstly, I enabled the, I have written the logic on the back button, which is given by the SAP itself. And you all know whenever you are performing action on the screen, PAI is calling. So I have written the logic in PAI. After that, yes, participants ask, yes, can we go for our own functions? Yes, you can go for our own functions. So we have written the logic in PBO of the screen. You all know PBO is calling before displaying a particular screen. So we want a button in the application toolbar whenever screen is there. So it means before that itself, we have written the logic to create our own GUI status. And in that, we created the button cancel. And yes, you want to change the title bar also. So we created the title bar. As we are displaying the ALV on our own screen in the container of our own screen, so that's why we are writing the logic to make all these functions to work. So what I will do now, I will put a breakpoint in PBO of screen 100, in PAI of screen 100. I will show you the stack and we will understand if some confusion is there, it will be automatically covered into this video. So I will put a breakpoint first. This is PBO of screen 100. I will put a breakpoint. And yes, now I will put a breakpoint in PAI of screen 100. I will run this program. This is our program. Whenever we are running the program, this is selection screen or input screen. If I will check the number of the screen, every selection screen or input screen has a number thousand. So this is our thousand screen. From this thousand screen, you are calling which particular screen? Hundred screen hundred. By which syntax? Call screen hundred call screen syntax. So whenever you will use the call screen syntax, yes, what is happening? The previous screen is as it is. The new screen will add on top of that. You all know stack is what? Yes, whatever you are adding, it is going on top of the previous things. So thousand was already there. And top of that 100 added. I will show you the stack now here. I will go to desktop 2. You can see. Firstly, we have 1000. Then on top of that, we have 100. And this is your PBO of 100 screen. Yes, you all know from 1000 screen, you are calling 100 screen. So firstly, which event will call for screen 100? PBO process before output. It will create the GUI status. In the GUI status, we created the button cancel in the application toolbar. So it will create the button. Now it will give the title bar also. But the title bar we gave sales order details. I will execute. And you can see we have the title also and we have the cancel button also. 
and SAP functions are not there now because we created our own GUI status. Now what I will do? I will click on to this cancel button. You all know whenever you are performing the action on the screen, PAI of this particular screen will call. So I will click here. So PAI of 100 screen called. Yes, this is our PAI logic. And you can see SIUCOM is equal to cancel. If you remember when we created the GUI status, but the function code we gave at that point of time, cancel the function code we gave cancel. So this if condition true. Now leave to screen zero. You all know leave to screen zero will take us back to the previous stacked screen. Now, if I will go for the stack, this is the stack. Currently, we are on 100 screen. So, leave to screen 0 will take us to the previous stack screen. And what is the previous stack screen? It is 1000. So, whenever this particular statement will execute, it will take us to the previous stack screen. And this is our selection screen or input screen. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we understood each and everything in the debugging mode. We have put a breakpoint in PBO. We have put a breakpoint in PAI also. Firstly, from the thousand screen, from this thousand screen, you are calling 100 screen by using which syntax this is very important you are using call screen so thousand is as it is hundred will add on top of that and yes whenever we are calling a screen firstly pbo of that screen will call in pbo we have written the logic to create the cancel button and the title bar after that yes we have simply our screen is coming then whenever you are clicking on to cancel button pai called and in the pai we have written the logic leave to screen zero and leave to screen zero will take us back to the previous stacked screen and what is our previous stacked screen it is thousand so this is all about the two queries which maximum people ask how i can enable the buttons which is coming by by default which is coming by sap gui status then after that how if i want to create my own gui status and own button so that's why we simply written the logic in pbo and pai and yes definitely you, should, you must have a knowledge of screen events, how you can go for PAI and how you can go for PBO and PAI. That knowledge will play a vital role here. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.